again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Loctite uh, Firebird series. I am Brian the Blank. Welcome to my welcome to Brian's Racing Realm. Little scatterbrain because I've been busy. I apologize for missing uh, the upload last week. However, things happened. Things were overcome, and here we are now. A few things to discuss. Let's start off with the pertinent ones. Uh, practice for this race. Uh, Catherine Harris was the fastest, followed by Wayne Stadler, Davis Pittman, John Walker, and Drew Keane. In happy hour, Katherine Harris was the fastest, followed by Skylar Taylor, we'll get there in a minute, Davis Pittman, James Wolfe, and Isaac Hernandez. So Harris should have some speed. We shall see. Now, there was a name there that none of you are going to recognize. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new addition to our roster. Skylar Taylor. In the Silver 45. Not only did they decide to join our league, they parked this car third on the starting grid in their first uh, race. They will be running both leagues. But that's a way to uh, make an entrance. As you can see, May Ellis, our inaugural winner in this series and in this as a league, uh, sitting on pole for this third this uh, season three race here at Phoenix, where it all began. Isaac Hernandez, of course, won the pole for that first race and just plummeted. Actually, no, he didn't plummet. I'll, he had a decent race. I check, but, uh... Oh, no, he finished second. He was ahead most of the race and just lost it at the end. Either way, so... As you can see, Mayalis on the pole, James Wolfe in second, Skylar Taylor in third, Jacob Aronson in fourth. It amazes me that both of the red cars are in the top five. I'm not sure I've seen that happen ever. I could be wrong, but I've not seen it in a long time for sure. And then the five of Gerard Wilkinson in fifth. And you have uh, John Walker in sixth. Tracy Hell in 7th, Davis Pittman in 8th, Wayne Stadler in ninth, Isaac Hernandez in 10th, Chris Harvey, no, Drew Keane in 11th, Chris Harvey in 12th, Charles Marshall in 13th, Lynn White 14th, Minnie Nelson 15th, Catherine Harris 16th, all that speed in practice and starting so far back. Drivers, start your engines! Um, okay. Nicholas Eckert in 17th. And, oh, no, no. Hold up. Abort that. Oh, no. Wow. Was not expecting this and Oh boy. That's gonna make a mess of things. Here they come. Uh 
Um, truncated starting lineup aside, race is underway. Will the 17 has made it back to pit road. Ellis off like a shot. Skyler Taylor, our first race rookie holding their own right now. That inside line's a little tight. Let's see how they handle it. And that's a bad sign. Facts. Yep. 17 is out of the race already. Will officially be given points for starting, but will be 50 laps back. Wow. It's rare that happens, but it has happened. Jacob Aronson currently second. Kyler Taylor third. John Walker fourth. Jared Wilkinson on track fifth. Tracy Hall looking to take that spot away. Wayne Sadler, current seventh. Hernandez, eighth. Keen and Pittman fighting for ninth. Pittman is going to take the spot. And Harvey did not get tenth at the no just nosed out. But we'll take tenth. Coming out of this turn with Lynn White, our current points leader, uh, taking residence right behind, looking to pounce. Catherine Harris also with uh, speed and traffic. Obviously no qualifying speed. Apparently scored 13th. I believe this will move them up to 12th. Keane is just falling back. Marshall fell back a fair bit. There's Dorothy McLean, our pole sitter for season two here in Phoenix. Daniel Bardens, our second place finisher last season. Lee Nelson, Tony Bentley, one of the uh, house rookies for this season. And Tyler Gardens who's had one good showing in the one, and that's about it. Whoa, Ellis up high. Let's, uh, there's another camera. We are already seven lap, six laps in to this 50 lap race. Come back here and take a look at the battle. This is a battle for 10th. Lynn White has it. Chris Harvey, I believe, had it. And has been passed pretty easily because the if you're on the outside, unless you can manage to just romp on the throttle, you don't have enough momentum to stay ahead. Stadler and Pittman holding up traffic a little bit. One, uh, something's got to give. And it may well be Sadler unless somebody goes out and slaps a wall. Up front, looks like action has happened. Ellis has been caught by Aronson somehow. Walker and Wilkinson trading places. Harvey McLean and Keen. Keen with a uh, proven example of how to actually pass on the outside here, or retake the retake a position on the outside. Whoa! That's a lot of backed up cars. 
Looks like uh, Pittman may be the uh, roadblock here. It's hard to tell. Back up front. Y'all still, still leading Aronson. To the back. Tyler Gardens has passed Hammond and is passing Bentley. Tony Bentley has shown promise this season, but not early in races, it seems. Everybody is sliding out way wide. Ooh, Keen lost momentum. I didn't hear any scrapes or bumps, but the 24 clearly running a little slower. Ellison Aronson knows the tail. Skyler Taylor holding third and actually managing to make up some time on the leaders. Color me impressed. We may have someone to uh, have an argument over who is the best rookie. Uh-oh, we have a caution. That is Harvey. What happened here? Well, the inside fender is damaged. So I'm going to guess. Yeah, look at the skid marks. Just, uh. Got a little excited. Now. If I seem a little anxious, it's. What the? What the I'm sorry, what? Um... Okay, we are under caution. We're going to take a look at uh, what happened to Harvey. Okay, so up high, it's the brakes. And just gets turned by the 14. Not a great situation. However. Um. That. Yeah. We're going to go on board. What was Carranza doing? Okay, I... Mm, nope. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Uh, I believe there will be a discussion... 
with the uh, 3, the 16, the 14, and the 11 driver. Mainly the 16 on safe, pr safe practices on track, as well as the 3. And, um, that may very well be a fine. On who? Could very well be both of them. That was unnecessary in almost every fabric and facet I could think of. So... And Mayel is here as the only other driver up to now who has been penalized. And it was at this track, and it was in the second race ever for this league. For uh, this league. Was running four lane Camaros as we go back to green. And uh, hooked a competitor and sent them into the wall. Ellis under fire early from Aronson. Ellis, I believe, was fined one race check. However, I think that's going to cost uh, Mr. Harvey a fair bit more than just one check. I, in fact, I think <clears throat> well, I can th say what I think, but uh, official an official statement will be released uh, after this event and will be available when the Camaro race is broadcast and in fact will be replicate re uh, relayed to you at that time. Drivers are letting it all hang out. Ellis running away with the lead right now, but goes way high. It'll make it work. 21 laps down, 29 more to go. Skyler Taylor has made the pass for second. Taylor not just showing up and taking up space, actually making a race out of this. Let's see if they can go for the lead. Here's Davis Pittman. He's gotten the cobweb shaken out. He's actually made, made some speed or found some speed. Doesn't seem like it's a great day to have a green car. going way up track trying to find some speed but I think that just cost him uh, time compared to Walker
Randy Nelson's race is likely ruined. Wasn't going very far, but definitely doesn't have any speed now. We got three wide going into turn one. They are crashing going into turn two. Stadler slaps the wall. Hernandez looks like he has some damage on his car. And all of a sudden, Pittman has fallen back down the order. Bardens, Hernandez, and Stadler all scrapping with each other. Are we trying to have a competition on who can t who can uh, T-bone the wall first? Ladies and gentlemen. All that damage, and yet Nelson is still ahead of Gardens and Hammond. Hammond will somehow manage to recover and finish 18th. Gardens, who knows. Ellis is making this look easy now. There's Ellis going into turn three. There's Taylor now going into turn three. As fast as Taylor is, I do think that they may be holding back the rest of the field. Everyone else is there. Skyler knows what they're doing in this on the short tracks, apparently. But they just can't get away from the 6, the 7, and the 9 there. As soon as I say that, they get away from the 6, the 7, and the 9 there. That was lap 30. So let's take a let's do a quick little rundown. Your leader is May Ellis. First race rookie, Skylar Taylor is currently second. Jacob Aronson, third. Lynn White on track fourth. Battling with Tracy Howell who will take fourth at the line. So Hal fourth, Lynn, fifth, Lynn White fifth, into turn one. Sixth would be Nicholas Eckert. Green car is starting to come back a little bit. Seventh at the line was Gerard Wilkinson, but is currently Catherine Harris. After Wilkinson lost a lot of momentum. Somehow Hal lost a lot of momentum. Is there any damage on that seven? Doesn't look it. Eight for Wilkinson currently. Marshall ninth. Hernandez currently tenth. Martin's currently eleventh. But these positions are tra are swapping back and forth like well. Uh, faster than Candy. Davis Pittman is trying to make some time, but cannot get past anybody. Dorothy McLean is trying to make a recovery drive because their pace has fallen off the last few races in general. Why are so many people hitting the brakes so hard on the inside line? Black checks up to the outside, ends up losing time for it. Stadler and Keen are going to take that spot. Walker... Our reigning champ is in a bad way right now. Gardens has gotten past Nelson, who has gotten past Harvey. And then there's Hammond, who just seems to be 
here. Something seems to be up with the tin car. It just does not have the face of anybody else. Lynn White in the nine has taken over fourth. It's looking to get past Aronson in the six. If White, Howell, and possibly Harris, Harris making a recovery drive now, if they can get past this 45, any one of them, I think Taylor will start sliding back. However, Taylor's been using that outside line like a pro. Here goes the nine past the six. I'm sure there's a joke there somewhere that I'm not going to pursue. Here's your primary colors though, red, yellow, blue, and green. Eckert. What? Eckert is looking very agitated and very ready to go. And maybe a little overly so. Eckert pushes Howell to the outside. Aronson goes around and does the double on both of them. And retains third place, but goes way high himself. Folks, um, did anyone hear a ring bell? Because I've actually not seen them race like this in a long time. And this is very aggressive and I'm not used to it. I'm not saying I mind. The nine is there. Skylar Taylor trying, but Lynn White is our reigning is our not reigning our current season three leader you'd like to keep that going Aronson has has started plummeting Pretty hard in the wall. That's going to lose a lot of momentum. Could also be that tires are starting to be a big issue. I believe we've only run 39 laps up to now in these races. 32. So we're running another third of a distance, or a little over another half. Again, we've already we're on lap 42 now. We'll run another 10 laps from what we did last season, and season one. Ellis, this is Ellis's race to lose. Here's Ellis into turn one. Taylor at the finish line. I don't know that they're catching up. And of course, Ellis could use this. And there goes the nine. With the push from the 18. But the 45 is still up there. That's not going to work, though. That was too much up, not enough, not enough ahead. A little damage to the 45, no big deal though. Just momentum. That'll be fourth place currently. And luckily she's not in this uh, cluster right here.
Ellis way up high in turn one. I think the tires are starting to fall off really badly. This is lap 45 of 50. Six lap, five and a half laps to go. The eight has been ahead all race. Has been able to watch themselves, but there was that restart. The 9, the 18, fighting for second. The 45, one in that spot back. Might get it. Tracy Hound looking to capitalize on any misfortune. Isaac Hernandez, the original poll winner. See Aronson back there. Harris barely holding on to a top 10. They did so well to climb out of the hole and then fell back into the hole. Chris Harvey. Lenny Nelson is ahead of both Carranza and Harvey. Hammond is still in last somehow. We are at two laps to go. Tyler Taylor is trying. Lynn White almost hit that wall. Taylor going to try for the outside again? Yep. Don't think it's going to be enough. Ellis wins the race. Lynn White second. Eckert third. Taylor fourth. Al fifth, Isaac Hernandez sixth, Gerard Wilkinson seventh, Charles Marshall eighth, Cedric Black ninth, Dorothy McLean tenth. A decision may be handed down before uh, we release you from this video today. However, What is, un what is inarguable is that this eight led from flag to flag. Had some help, yes. But they won the race. They did what they had to. And they made a show out of it. Now, as is customary, I'm going to go take a breath, get me a drink. Because I did that. I'm not sure if I even took a whole lot of breaths during that. I probably need to do this a little bit healthier. However, I will meet you back here. And we will discuss what this means for the season. And I believe that there is a decision being handed down right now. We will be we will return with that here in a moment.
Okay, so uh, we have had a decision from the BRR management because after looking at it further, the 11 had not caught up to the tail end of the pack until they were coming out of turn one. Uh, Harvey could very well have not been paying enough attention and thought that they were still trying to catch up the field, which technically they would have been had Carranza not stopped just blatantly short. Carranza believes that they were in the right to try and stop th stop where they were so that Harvey could get up there. Management is not happy with the 16. A uh, $1,000 fine to the, th to the driver of the 3 and the driver of the 16. The teams will not be penalized. It will only be the drivers. And uh, as all three, as uh, the 16 crew doesn't have a whole lot of damage to deal with, uh, they will be helping out with the repairs on the 3 and the 11 this week. So there is your uh, decision on the incident during the caution. The result of the, the cause of the caution, that was a racing incident. No, foul, no harm, no foul. Yes, Harvey spun, but both drivers were uh, just in a unfavorable position. And that's as far as that would go. Now, how did the actual race results look? Mayalis, your winner, beating Lynn White by five and a half seconds. And you know that lead was much higher than that at one point with uh, Taylor there. But that's not a knock against Taylor. Taylor jumped into this car for the first time and qualified third, finished fourth, not a word not a word is to be said bad about Taylor to date. Maybe next week, but not today. Uh, Nicholas Eckert did finish third. Skyler Taylor fourth, as said. Well done for the rookie. I believe that might be the best finish. I would have to look it up. Editor, uh, give me a hand here. Tracy Howland fifth. Isaac Hernandez sixth. Gerard Wilkinson, 7th, Charles Marshall, 8th, Cedric Black, 9th, Dorothy McLean, 10th, Davis Pittman, 11th, Catherine Harris, 12th. Managed to finish the top half, but uh, you would, you really wanted more. Drew Keene in 13th. Jacob Aronson falls from 2nd to 14th. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Daniel Barden's 15th, John Walker, 16th, Minnie Nelson in that damaged number 11, 17th. Honestly, with it being in the rear, it probably wasn't as bad as Chris Harvey in the in the three, who had his nose crushed in. Was his own fault was partly his own fault, though. Harvey finishes 18th. Wayne Stadler finishes 19th. Another card that just inexplicably dropped. Uh, Jim Carranza. 20th, Tyler Gardens 21st, Tony Bentley 22nd, that 23 just cannot get going it seems like again. Had a decent start this season, but it's not been there since. Thomas Hammond did finish 23rd of the 23 running, and James Wolfe didn't even make it one lap. Technically took the green flag, and... We'll finish 50 laps. We'll finish. Hey, he didn't complete a lap, so he'll finish 50 laps now. Iconumba. But the issue was found and was and is it going to be able to be dealt with. So hopefully they don't have to pull that engine out and uh, put another one in. That's going to cost a lot of money if it does. Now. What does the points table look like? No surprise, Lynn White expands their lead over the championship. In fact, a little modification has to be done.
because we now have a little bit different uh, points table now. So now with forty with twenty four cars on on tap on the on the grid, uh, one race out is now sixty nine points. John Walker in sixth place is now the first person one race is now the first the last person one within one race of the lead. If Walker finishes first and White finishes 24th, then Walker will match White. As unlikely as that seems, the finales for the last two seasons have been crazy. So nothing is out of the realm of belief. So that means you're, that bumps the uh, two race range to 138 points and as you can see now we're starting to have some people fall off due to their poor finish today Thomas Hammond is now officially more than two races back of the lead Tony Bentley as well James Wolfe obviously and unfortunately like I want to say that uh, Skylar Taylor would be. Ex I mean, it's acceptable. You're three. You literally did not run three races. And yes, the that the so one race is sixty nine points. Two races is one hundred thirty eight, and three races is two oh seven. If you've run every single one, Skylar Taylor has only run one race is 270 back. The fact that they're not more and w Lynn White has not had a top has not had a finish outside the top 10, the top 8 this season. 8th, 2nd, 5th and 2nd. He's not won a race yet, but he's knocking on the door. Skylar Taylor just finished fourth. And the only reason that they're not four points back is because White is having such a strong start. Like, it's not out of the realm of possibility that Taylor could actually start passing people at the bottom of this table before the season is over. If you'll look back, you can actually see that the... Uh, original mid mid season starter, Chris Arby, he started race six, and by the end of the season he was within he was within a race of starting to pass people because he was doing that well in both leagues. He didn't, unfortunately, he fell short because we just didn't have that many races. Skylar Taylor has two extra races to play with. They could make some noise. And I hope they do, because that would just make for an entertaining set of events. Well, that was an exciting event. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm still, my heart's still racing. No, it wasn't the greatest lead and win, but... There was plenty of racing going on throughout, and of course, enough drama. If you like what you see and you want to join in, in the description below the video, there is a link to the Discord for Brian's Racing Realm. That is the overarching league that these Firebirds run under. We also run Camaros. That will be shown uh, next video. However, until then, I am Brian the Bike. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the racing in my realm. 
I got to get a better tagline. Y'all stay safe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.